Hello, my hustlers. How y'all doing today? Come on in with your Hollywood hood girl, too. Oh, y'all. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you. When I say the name, I think some of y'all are going to know what this sandwich is. All right, y'all. The production is Beef Bologna. <laughs> the director is Cooking with Judy Cardwell. Mm -hmm. The camera is still there for the moment. This is scene five, take two. Let's roll the tape. Come on in, bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water, bring your food and snacks, and let's sit chat with this only one hood girl to the hood. All right, so. We're going to say prayers and then we're going we gonna to get it started. So, okay, y'all ready? If you can bow your heads with me. Thank you. My God, thank you so much for being our Father. Thank you for being the co-pilot with me on these highways and byways. Thank you for helping me do a good job for my job, Lord. Mm, thank you. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. All right, y'all, it is Friday. This is going out today. Um, I chose not to do a live today. Uh, I'm going to do it on Sunday. So, you know, watch for me on Sunday, y'all. So look here. I'm going to say it like this. My little sister, Jazzy V, with the five, with the Fab Five, and let me just call them out. So we are the Fab Five. It is Jazzy V. Kicking it with Lynn. It's Vanjie's world. It's eating good. And of course, me. That hood girl. To the hood. So Jazzy V, say, Jazzy v said that I didn't do it right. So, okay, I'm going to try to do it like our sister Jazzy V. We got that water. We got that water, water. We got that water. That H2. Oh, y'all. Jazzy V, did I do it? Did I do it better? <laughs> did I do it better than I did? Okay, look here. Okay, y'all. Look, let's toast. Because I'm ready to dig in for my sandwich get cold. So, I'm toasting for all of my new kings and queens that subscribe to me. Hey, y'all. Come on in. Join the family. I love y'all already. So, salut. Salut. Let's sip, sip, sip this good water. Mm-hmm. So look, cooking with Judy Caldwell, go look her up. She do some really good recipes, but I saw her do a old school fried bologna sandwich like a month ago, maybe. And Hood Plates did it too. And I told uh, cooking uh, with Judy Caldwell, I am going to do that sandwich. I could not stop thinking about it, y'all. I was trying to wait for my oldest son, but I'm like, shit, I'm ready. Look here. We got some fried bologna, beef bologna, that is. And you know what, y'all? I haven't had bologna for, I know, over 30 years. So I hope it's going to be good to my stomach because after this, I'm going to be drinking and smoking. Okay? You know what, y'all? I keep looking. I'll be back. I forgot my doggone bread and butter pickles. I'll be back. Y'all look here and I'm walking with one shoe on and one shoe off. Okay, I forgot my pickles, y'all. Y'all already know I need my pickles on a sandwich. Okay, y'all, so look. I have, um, I have two pieces, but the other piece is under that cheese. Let me see if I can... And I have some lettuce, I have some pepper, some melted pepper jack, cheese, I have tomatoes and fried bologna. I have uh, my spicy hot mustard on that side, and I have some mayonnaise on the other, some mayonnaise on the other side. So look here, y'all. Oh, I'm, 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 I want to taste your falling out. I'm ready. I'm ready to eat this dog on sandwich. Mm. I'm ready to eat this dog on sandwich. I need some pickles, though. How y'all doing this Friday? What's the plans, baby? What's the plans? Look. Yeah. 
I didn't want it on my sandwich because, you know, it gets soggy. I do not like that soggy bread. We'll do three right now. But I know that's not enough. Y'all, let's cut this sandwich. Yeah, oh, oh, y'all hear the crunch? Y'all had y'all know I toasted that bread because Judy Caldwell cooked that she toasted that bread as well. Y'all see I haven't done my hair. I was waiting for some half that I uh I ordered. And uh mm, 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 mm. and I got a okay y'all. Take the first bite. Y'all see that blown on? Hmm. Take the first bite. Yum, yum. Give it some. Look. Y'all order some hair from Amazon. I ordered every, I ordered everything from Amazon. You know, in Amazon, for all the years I've ordered from Amazon, they usually put my order at my freaking door. Okay. Mm. It's juicy, y'all. It's money. Mm. The spicy mustard, the pepper jack cheese, that fried bologna. Y'all, I know y'all hear me smacking, right? I'm sorry. This is good. Please, take a bite. Take a bite. Damn. Thank you, cooking with Judy Carwell. Mm, before I um, go any further, who a plate? In Q's world. Thank y'all for running my playlist. If I, I'm telling y'all, y'all some beautiful people. Thank you for running my playlist because you didn't have to do it. Thank you, for real. Mm. Mm hmm. Y'all, we running through. Mm -hmm. That's just a mouthful of goodness. But I'm going to do this. I'll do that. Yeah, my mouth is on fire. Mm -hmm. So anyway, back to my Amazon. So look here. I got a text message yesterday, right? It said, your package have been delivered in your locker. Our parcel package locker that they have us here where I live. Never once before that they put anything in that locker, right? Wow. Oh, I got in my car. I drove to the front where the lockers are. I put the code in and he said, hello, Juanita. Went to the locker, wasn't nothing in it. It said, your package have been picked up. I get on the phone. And I call the office and I say, look here, 30 minutes ago, I got a, a, a text saying that a, a package was put in this locker and it says the package has been picked up. I got them on it. 
Then I called the customer service for the parcel lockers. I got them on it. She said, that's strange. Uh-huh. But it ain't your money. So, I came back home. I got on Amazon. And they sent me an a, a email to say your package was delivered. So, I clicked on not good. And I said, I didn't get my package. I woke up this morning. I ain't have no messages from no messages from anybody. I'm like, oh, this some bullshit. That hair cost me forty one dollars and twelve cents. I want my money or my hair. I don't, I don't, whatever. Okay. So I called Amazon. I spoke. I spoke with a nice uh, guy. Though. I really did. He was really nice, y'all. I said, look, I told him the scenario. And he said, he said the same word I said. He said, that sounds suspicious. Hell yeah, do. Because all day long, I'm sitting at my desk, y'all. And my desk faces the outdoors, right? So, at the water. And I can see everybody coming in and going out. Okay. How many Amazon trucks that I see today, they getting out and they going to each of the buildings to live the packages at the doors. So why the fuck did you did not put my package on my door that you said you, you put it in the parcel locker for the first time? You stole it. I, I believe that same girl that's always in these trucks delivering in our building. I believe she knew what that package was or maybe it was torn and she saw that that expensive hair. I believe she took that goddamn hair and she Pretended that she put it in that empty ass locker, and they still haven't found it. Okay, and they got track. They got the tracking number. Okay, and then let me tell you what she did. She scanned the barcode at the bottom of the, the of the Amazon pack. Look here, she scanned the barcode, but she didn't let us see the numbers on the barcode. It was just the black and white stripe. She didn't, she didn't, she didn't take the picture of the whole barcode where you can see the numbers at the top and the bottom. Uh-huh. That, that's suspicious shit right there. Yes, and I was angry. <clears throat> so at the end, they refunded my money. So he put a special notation on my account. And I, and I know I already had it there too. Do not put my shit in no goddamn locker. Bring my stuff to the door. For years, y'all have brought my shit to the door. But all of a sudden, this one expensive hair package never made it to my door. Or to the goddamn locker. I know I'm cussing. Yes, because I'm pissed. How about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I'm going to order it again, but for the time being, I don't know if I'm going to wear my natural hair or if I'm just uh, going to put some more hair in and then put that hair in later. I don't know. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I looked in my freezer. Y'all already know I like my uh, seafood on the weekend. Y'all know that, huh? I ain't have no shrimp. So I took the blue crabs down, and I'm like, mm mm, I don't want the blue crabs without my shrimp. Uh, I got a lot of running around to do tomorrow, and then I'm off on Monday as well. So. Uh, I'm going to go to the Fresh Market and give me um, some shrimp before I leave to go to Houston, I think. Well, maybe when I... I may have to do a Sunday morning because I'll be getting home a little late Saturday. 
because I like to get the three or four pounds of shrimp and wash them up real good. And then I like to put them in a separate freezer bags because y'all know, you know, I, I always get the jumbo large shrimp, right? So y'all know in every, in every pound, that's between 21 to 24 shrimp. So I take my shrimp and I end up with more bags because, you know, they know me, so they give me a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So. I'm going to give me about four pounds of shrimp. Because you know when I do my seafood bar, I can uh, do four bars with it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Now I'm getting full. Y'all want this other half? Mm-hmm. It's good, though. This toasted bread is good, too. Mm-hmm. So look, um, look for me Sunday, about six o'clock. I think that's where I scheduled it, six o'clock, with a cigar. Mm -hmm. Bring your cigar, bring your cocktail, and bring your shit talking ass before and after. Mm -hmm. Bring it on. Sam, I am. Sam, I hope you're available. You hear me, Sam? Mm-hmm. Well, the bread ain't soggy. That's a good thing, because I been took that bread off. Huh. Y'all, going in. Next time, Judy, I'll try with the egg. There you go, y'all. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Take a bite. I'm ready for a drink, y'all. I had a hard week. Two more weeks. Two, two, dos. Unos, dos, dos. I'm going back to my regular account. I'm going to be off of this New York project. But I, I did meet a couple of people that went to my uh, my YouTube page. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all. Mm. Okay, y'all. It's time. We swallow this food and sing our stuff out. Uh, I think I needed to shout somebody out. I did uh hood plates and in Q's well and cooking with Judy Cardwell. Mm hmm My fab five. But look at all y'all. Y'all know who y'all are. Everybody that's always looking at my videos, every everybody that's always coming on my live. Yeah. Oh, y'all. I love y'all. Let's sing ourselves out. Uh-huh. So you ready? Let's go. It's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have another chance around on the other side. Mm. Whatever you do today and the rest of the day, do it good. Oh, y'all had to burp. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. Do I need to start over? No. Whatever you do today for the rest of the day, do it good and do it with love. I'll see y'all. Uh, oh, y'all, what is really going on? That's that, I said, that's that bologna. <laughs> I'll see y'all Sunday, 6 o'clock. Cigars, cocktails, combo. Come on, baby. Ready for you. Oh, Burns, junk closet. Hey, girl. Mm-hmm. Bye, y'all.